Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we're doing another tier list video for you guys today, because that's what seems to get the big views. Um, and, you know, it's actually, actually, before we get into the video, you know what's crazy? I did, a, I did that Jesus edit not too long ago. Bro, that got me 30-something subscribers, bro. That's crazy. Maybe that's just the play. Maybe I just need to start uploading more Jesus videos, because that big JC in the sky has been helping me out lately. Not just in YouTube. Anyway. In the video, today, we are going to be ranking all... Well, okay, I'm not all. But we're going to be ranking Call of Duty Zombies Wonder Weapons. My buddy said he really likes my Call of Duty Zombies videos specifically. I like Call of Duty Zombies. It's probably one of my favorite games ever. I don't even play Call of Duty multiplayer. Anytime I see a new Call of Duty, it's either good... It's only good if it's got a good Zombies mode. That's why I didn't like Modern Warfare 3. I haven't really played any of the Modern Warfares. I play Black Ops mostly. <laughs> Infinite Warfare is actually kind of good. Anyway, now you're probably saying, thinking, man, this list looks really small. It's for a couple of reasons. One, we are not doing Wonder Gadgets, if you don't know what a Wonder Gadget is. That means Gersh devices, Monkey Bombs, Matryoshkas, or Quantum Entanglement devices. So nothing like uh, equipment. Uh, we're doing Black, or we're doing World at War through Black Ops 3. We are not including Black Ops 4, Cold War, or Vanguard. And I think I want to do a separate video for Infinite Warfare uh, and Advanced Warfare. Or maybe not even Advanced Warfare, because I don't think Advanced Warfare really has any. There's energy weapons. I don't know. Maybe we'll do Black Ops 4, Adva uh, Infinite Warfare, and Cold War. I didn't play Vanguard, and I think they're the exact same. I don't think there's a new one in that. We'll see. I just... I This video is going to be a little bit shorter, so... Um... Sorry, there's ads. Alright, we're gonna get into it. Uh, we got... Oh, shoot, I didn't label this one. This is F tier. Oh, my keyboard's not... I had to free up a space for my microphone. Finally, we're getting into it. Alright, sorry, you can skip through that next time. Number one, we have the all-iconic Raygun Mark 1. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think it's B tier. Now, listen, listen, listen. You're probably gonna get mad at me. You're probably thinking, Joe, are you, are you stupid? That's an A tier right there. Here's my problem with it. It was good in World at War and Black Ops 1. But Black Ops 2 through 4, it was it was not very good. I mean it got drastically changed to Cold War. I mean that was that was crazy. But for a majority of the games it's in, it is really not good. Actually, is the Reagan in Black Ops 4? I think it is. I'm sorry, it's been a while. Uh, so yeah, it's going in B tier, but uh, it is really truly one of my favorites, and um, it'll always be my favorite, probably actually. Ah, well, eh, it's probably one of my favorites. Number two, we got the Wonderwolf DG. Oh, I should have the list open. Let me open the list real quick. I looked this up earlier. Sorry, I'm gonna get the list out because I don't want to. Stop, why are there so many ads, dude? Okay. Sorry. We've got the Wonderwolf DG2. Oh, that's the Thunder Gun. The Wonderwolf DG2. Think. Oh, shoot. It's. I don't think it's A tier. I think it's B tier. Here's my problem with it. It's actually really cool. Uh, I do not like the scoped version. There's a freaking. Sh shoot like wonder Wolf shark and sh i don't even know how you say it. i'm just stupid man uh to go in and beat here once again just same problem with the ray gun really good in some games uh is it i don't think it's in black ops 2 it's in black ops 3 1 in world at war is it in one yeah it is in one uh the reason it's not a tier in world at war uh it's either on Shinonuma, and I don't, I don't really like Shinonuma, or it's on Doris. Problem with it on Doris takes away your jug. That's my only problem with it. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. All right, next, the Thunder Gun. Thunder Gun is A tier, every day, all day. You know why? It's infinite damage every round. It will constantly, reliably kill zombies all the time, and just. It's, it's like the ultimate save me gun, guys. Like, I don't really know how to explain this to you. 
like it, it probably other than like maybe the apothecary servant it is probably one of the better wonder weapons all right next we got uh the winter's howl let's go on an f tier and and i'm not i probably should have specified this actually that makes these two invalid ah shoot we're hmm, do i want to do that yeah, we're gonna do this. I am gonna go off. I just thought about this. I am going to go be going off their very first introduction. That makes the ray gun A tier, along with the thunder gun. And I think that the wonder buff has to get moved down to C because once again, it takes away your jug, and that really is a negative impact. That you can't. I mean, you literally have to down to get it back. So I don't know. Anyway, what winter's uh, the winter's howl, which eventually becomes the winter's whale if you upgrade it, if you pap it uh man what what can i say nice about this gun i mean it looks pretty cool and it's on my favorite map of all time which is five uh damage isn't there it's not very good in really any scenario and uh well it's made by americans which is really sad like we couldn't have produced something better guess not all right the vr11 when it's upgraded i believe it comes the lazarus or something lazarus Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to put you in F tier, buddy. Um, turn zombies into humans, and I know it has a obscure co-op ability. I can't not exactly remember what it does. I, think. I believe it gives you an insta kill. It makes you like gives you like zombie blood as well, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that, but I uh, I think over. Yeah, I guess it's using an Easter egg. We'll give it a D tier, just because it's using an Easter egg. Not, yeah, I don't know. The scavenger. Uh, we're putting you, buddy. We're gonna put you in C tier. Now, listen, you guys are gonna get me out of me for that one. Joe, it's obviously an F, an F tier or a D tier. No, how about you just quiet down, boy? It's, I, it's personally one of my favorites of all time on one of my favorite maps of all time. Call it the dead. Um, just an explosive bolt action rifle. That's pretty sick. If you don't have a PhD though, you're you're cooked. So, I don't know. Overall, I think it's kind of cool. The what is this one called? 3179 JGB215, otherwise known as the baby gun or the baby maker. Personally, I think this is a B tier. It technically doesn't do any damage, it just shrinks the zombies so small that you can essentially punt them um, to, to Jamaica. Like, you can punt them across the world. Which, I mean, that's a pretty cool idea in concept, yet, uh, eh. I've seen some of the other sketches where it's supposed to be an elemental wonder weapon, and I think that would have been cooler. Also, sometimes it, my game just kind of glitches, and they still hit me, which is not fair. Anyway, on the next one. The wave gun, zap gun, dual wield on moon. Uh, where do I put you? I think we're going to put you in B tier. Overall like you combine these absolute powerhouse on their own they're both respectively good um i i view it kind of just as a better wonder Waff, personally but i don't yeah i'm a little biased too because i don't really like moon i don't like the astronaut i don't like the zero gravity it is a better choice than the ray gun because ray gun makes it so you don't have any gravity so i just think it's a better version of the wonder Waff. um but uh you can take that as you will the Thrustodyne Aero... What is it called? Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23, otherwise known as the Jet Gun. That's an F tier. I don't even think I need to explain that one to you. It's on the worst map of all time, which is Transit. Uh, it's the worst Wonder Weapon of all time. You have to build it. Runs out in about three seconds. On, on, on paper, it's probably one of the best ever. It does infinite damage and doesn't have ammo. So. Probably one of the best of all time. Uh, but in theory and in practice, it is it is quite bad. Uh, the Sliquifier. And we're going pre-patched on this one. Pre-patched Sliquifier? That's an A tier every day, baby. Like, it, you, you don't even need to try. It is essentially the Die Rise version of the Paralyzer. You sit in a corner on the stairs and you just keep, you know, shooting it. And all the zombies just slip and slide around, making it very easy for for you. If you don't want to put in any effort on a game of Die Rise, probably actually, maybe, I think Die Rise is worse than Transit. I'm going to put it out there. 
transit, like, if you grew up with that as your childhood, you're not going to think it's that bad. But when you look at it in a vacuum, it's incredibly bad. Um, I think Die Rise is worse, though. Worst map of all time has one of the best uh, guns of all time. And that's why I love the Super Fire. All right, we have the Blundergat, which becomes Vitrolic Withering. Uh, Magma Gat variant as well on Blood of the Dead. There's a lot of different versions of that. The Sweeper. So we're going to take that all into account, but we're just looking at the Mob of the Dead version. It is probably a, an A tier. Because you do that strategy where if it just won't kill, you, you stand next to the acid trap, you shoot the the bullets in that make them follow it and you just send them into the acid trap and that's that's really all it is to it uh probably one of the best of all time one of the best maps of all time one of the, probably the one of the top three maps of all time mob of the dead personally i think it's it's one of the best of all time i don't know how much more i can say about it the ray gun mark ii it's going in c tier now listen 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 Better than the Raygun Mark 1. Alright. Here's the problem. Here's my problem with it. It's three round burst. Absolutely hate three round burst. I don't know if they took splash damage out. It's been a while since I've used it. If they did, that also makes it worse. I I think it's the three round burst. That's probably what I don't like about it. Is that it's three round burst. That's really all I gotta say about the Raygun Mark. Yeah, we'll put it in B actually, just because of its damage. The paralyzer. That's an A tier. You keep up that charge, and you just, you're on buried. Like, if you wanted to put effort into this game, like, any at all, forget about it. Because, like, you're just going to be sitting there camping with this and make, and if you got freaking Vulture's Aid, you're, you're, you're good. You're, you're good. All right, we are now into Black, oh, no, 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 we're still in Black Ops 2. The Stavs. I am putting the Stavs all together. I don't want to rank everyone individually. The Stavs are, are a B tier. And I, and here, listen, listen, listen. They are amazing. They're probably one of the best one weapons of all time. Um, four different elements. You know, you know, everyone in the game can have one. You can each have a different one. And it makes the map ultimately replayable over and over and over. Here's my problem with them. I have two problems. One, the upgrade process. Two, you got to build them. Oh, actually, no, no, no. It's not even that you got to build them. Just getting the parts for them. I always get crushed by the freaking robot. So, I think I just have a personal grievance with that one. Overall, stabs uh, are amazing. Also on one of the harder maps, too. Now we're into Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, oh my gosh, the voice crack. I'm sorry, fellas. Uh, I, uh, yeah, never mind. I don't have to answer you. You're not my dad. Uh, Apothecary Servant. That's an S tier, or A tier. Uh, it's essentially the Thunder Gun, but better. The only thing that makes it bad, necessarily, is its ammo. It's ammo is a problem. I think you have, what, nine bullets or something like that? Or energy spheres? Whatever that you shoot, essentially creating a miniature black hole. Sucks in zombies and kills them. But if you have alchemical antithesis or whatever, I don't. I can't speak, so don't expect much from me. Alchemical antithesis or whatever, antithesis. Uh, you're pretty much, you're, you're fine. Same with the thunder gun. You, if you have that on Black Ops 3, you're good. Overall, uh, it was introduced on one of my favorite maps ever, Shadows of Evil. Really love that map in general. Uh, I think it's pretty good. All right, now we're on to the Wrath of the Ancients and its four elemental upgrades. Once again, not ranking everyone individually. I think these... Oh, gosh. Uh, here's the thing. I think I have too many in A. Here's the thing. I think... And I said... Oh, gosh. Slick fire when it's unpatched. I think we're gonna move it down to B. Ah, we move it down to B. I think we're actually gonna move the stabs down to C. Now, don't get mad at me. Listen, listen. Love the stabs. Just hate how you get them. The process and the upgrade. Yeah, just I don't like it. Slick fire when it got patched. Not as great. The bows. The bows are going in A tier. You know why? Uh, Wrath of Ancients, very, very, very simple to get. You literally feed some dragons, very easy, very simple. Uh, then you get that bow. And I guess, yes, the, the process to get the four elemental upgrades are a bit harder. But realistically, I would rather build or get all the bows than get all the stabs. In my humble opinion, which is really not that worth, not worth that much. 
All right, we got the KT4. Here's my problem. I've never played Zetsubo. I don't really know where to put this. I mean, I've heard it's not horrible, but it's not great. So I think we're going to have to put it in C because I don't really know where to put it. We got the Wave Guns. As the, or, no, no, no. Ray Gun Mark III uh, introduced on Garad Krovi. Putting it at B, I really do love the Mark III. I actually love them more than the Wave Guns. Uh, just because they're a little bit cooler. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Ray Gun line and just how it functions. I think they look cool. They make them, you know, they each do their own thing. One zaps, one does whatever it does. You combine them. Another miniature kind of black hole thingy. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I also didn't mention we were not going to do... Um, what's the thing? I can't think of it now. It's like the Annihilator and like Skull of Sinopla and stuff like that. Uh, I can't remember what it's called off the top, man. So this is our final thing. I'll read them out real quick. A tier, we got the Raygun Mark I. Thunder Gun. The Vitrolic Withering or Blender Gat or whatever other one you want to call it. The Paralyzer, Pot the Conservant, and the Bows. In B tier, we got the Baby Gun, the Wave Gun, Zap Gun, Dual Wield, Ray Gun Mark III, Sliquifier, Patched, and the Ray Gun Mark III, which actually has another name. It is also called the GKZ45 Mark III. Don't know why they didn't just call it the Ray Gun Mark III. C tier, we got the Wonder Waff, the Scavenger, the Four Elemental Staves, and the KT4. In D tier, all we got is the... the Oh gosh, I know when it's upgraded. It's called the Lazarus. Why can't Lazarus? I have a. I don't know why I'm speaking with the lisp right now, dog. The Lazarus. Uh, what is it called? VR11. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know why I'm blinking. And after here we got the Winter's Howl and the Jet Gun. Obviously, you know, two of the possibly worst one weapons of all time. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Um, and I know it, you know, it was a little less than it normally is. I had to make this all myself. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and uh, that's why we didn't do as many. I'll do another video if you guys want to see Black Ops 4 and, you know, like, uh, other, like, wonder gadgets and, you know, other, other uh, wonder weapon stuff. By the way, if we do, like, COD zombies, I'm probably going to just go over Treyarch. I'm probably not going to do the Activision ones, so like, Infinite Warfare. Uh, but if you guys do want to see Infinite Warfare, just let me know, because I'll be happy to do that for you guys, if that's what you guys want to watch. And, uh, you know, like like always, have a nice day, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.